Oh guys, welcome back to the channel. Good evening, afternoon-ish, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it's been raining for a couple days here. Got a couple packages that showed up at 1040 something last night. Anyway, whatever. No big deal. So I have plans, a couple projects for this weekend. As today is Friday. I have been driving my a fourth gen back and forth to work so you guys let me know what you think I picked these up from work because the trash man wouldn't take them and they don't recycle at work so anyway you guys let me know what you think pop belly stove take that steel cut a circle put the circle up here take an exhaust pipe run it and then uh, do something for the bottom for the tray um, and then down in there I guess you just put a bunch of steel crossed I don't know and then for the other one I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it over the spigot and drop it down so it's like this then wrap the hose in there but I don't know yet so this is half inch thick steel I think it's half inch it might be three quarter inch yeah that might be three quarter inch all I know is it's heavy and those are heavy anyway back to the packages you guys probably know what's in them so this is from grizzly.com this is a pulley Double V pulley for that right over there. So, uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, these packages got delivered. I waited up as late as I could till like, uh, I don't know, till like nine o'clock last night. And then I was like, I'm done, I'm going to bed. So, 9 30, went to bed, woke up this morning, like three this morning, looked outside. And they weren't there, and then when the wife went to open the gate, they were like right there. And I can't see there from my bedroom. I can only some see from here that way. So anyway, let me open this box. I hope it's the right one. I'm hoping, hoping it's the right one. I needed a 5-inch double V-groove. Um, with a 5 8 inch arbor. Anyway, this, this box was actually supposed to be here two days ago. And it wasn't. So, whatever. It is what it is. It's here now. I'm good. As long as it is the right one. It looks right. So, anyway, it's just a cast iron, double V groove. Oh, that'll match a lot better. Way, way better. So, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. I'll probably do that in a little bit. So we have that. So, and I paid $26.95 for it. And then my total was forty-one fifty because I live in California. They charge a surcharge, I guess. I don't know. The joys of living in California, I guess. Um, anyway, let me open this. This is a lot of metal. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can't even roll it. <clears throat> hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. Okay, we cut these banding. Most of you guys probably already know what it is. If you don't, you'll find out when I find out. Ouch. So, it is a bunch of steel. Oh, wow. Anyway, 
looks like some crappy old welds. <laughs> wow. Maybe what I'll do is I'll run it, run my TIG welder over this. A guy at work told me that when you MIG, because you don't know if you're getting the actual real print penetration, that you run a TIG over it and you'll know. But yeah, these are some... Like, I don't weld that good, but for a company, I weld better than this company already. I mean, you can see it's all ground down right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. So, that one I'll have to run. So, this is a uh, four link or project crack pipe. Holy crap. <laughs> That's horrible. Horrible weld. I mean, I, well, whatever. You get what you pay for. I got this kit pretty cheap. It was. Now I'm wondering if they're even the same size. That one looks longer. Whatever. I'll run a tig. I'll run the tig over it, and uh, make it work. As you can see, some voids right there. It is some. Uh, it is. I think inch and a quarter thick steel, or inch and a quarter tubing, um, by something. But man, that's horrible. That's some crap that I. I would be doing. And I would not be selling it if that makes sense man maybe i maybe i need to go in business oh look at this crap well he's all ground down <laughs> i wonder if these are for like a welding school anyway five bars um some tabs i guess I don't even know what this is. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. Because it's an airbag. So, hanger kit. Looks like all grade five. Uh, this says Duncan Bolt Company airbag kit. Okay. Another airbag. Chingy. Oh, shit. I mean, it's some good steel, quarter inch. More oh, bad crap. Holy crap. I mean, I guess those welds are all right. These welds look a lot better. That I probably couldn't do. I mean, I guess with a stick, maybe. That don't look too bad. By the way, this is the, uh, and I was like, I'm gonna go in there. These heim joints even gonna fit? Uh, yeah, I guess they will fit. Heim joints. Uh, it looks like they are all. They're all right hand thread. So no left hand. So. Which means. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, that's right hand. That's right hand, right hand, right hand. Yeah, so that means that uh, there is no no adjustments on them. So yeah, it looks like it's all grade five bolt hardware. Doesn't look that like a metric thread, maybe. Um. Double Himes for the pan hard bar, which are both the same thread pattern. Both right hand, other tab. Anyway, this goes on the axle. Probably like this, I guess. The axle will be up here. And then this is your shock mounts. Maybe, maybe it goes like this. I don't know. I can go either way, probably. But anyway, um, I gotta make sure I ordered the right axle size, which I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, yeah, I did. So yeah, they'll either go up like this, or they will go down like this. Which I 
thinking if they go down, it might be hard to mount a shock. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll watch some videos. Either way, it's going to go on. So I think it goes on the bottom. And then I'll just have to clean up some of these welds in here. But so far, not too bad. I mean, the welds are kind of crappy. Oh, uh, the welds on. Uh, okay. These aren't too bad either. Sorry, it's gonna be a long video, but it's an unboxing. So these aren't too bad. I gotta say those, they are what they are. Like I said, you get what you pay for. This is the pan hard bar thingy. These are the brackets that are, I'm assuming they, you would weld them. You know, they'll obviously go in place of right here somewhere. Like that, you weld it on to the frame. So this side would go on the frame obviously so that you can get to the bolts. Um, and I'm sure they're gonna weld down in here. Then I'll talk about the sea notching junk I'll probably end up doing. So, I think that's it. I don't know if that is it because, oh, okay. So these must be for the pan hard bar. But I paid, I can't remember, 370 bucks for this whole kit. Uh, you guys want me to unbox that one? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Oh, jeez. I want you to see my address. That has my physical address. I don't care if you guys see my P.O. box address because it's always listed. Anyway, let me cut this open. You guys get to see what I get to see. And yes, this is the bottom of the box. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to open it, but I am. Oh, nice, some boxes. Uh oh Got some airbags. Not too bad. So I got one airbag. Yeah, I think I was supposed to open it the other way. But this box seems kind of heavy, and I think I know what it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> All right, I think this is the compressor. Doesn't look like too bad of a compressor. Seems heavy duty enough. Little compressor, little 12 volt. Let's see, what does that say? Voltage 12 volts, 23 amps, 200 psi. Yeah, that's more than an air compressor. Anyway, guys, this filter, I guess. Inlet filter element. All right, that's that box. Compressor, some tubing, some drip line, okay, hardware, sensors, relay, uh, oh, bleed off valve, so, I mean, so far, I got, I'm thinking I got way more than I paid for, because just looking for Airbags, a compressor, and whatever was like 180 bucks. And then a four link system, whether I went triangulated or parallel, which this is parallel, uh, it was still a lot of money. Oh, and it's got the switch and the gauges. So this is a dual, dual switches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run one on the rear and I 
think I'm going to try to find something for the front. So, if my cousin's watching, you've got your wish. He's been telling me to do airbags. So, I don't even know if he watches the channel or not. But, anyway. Um, and then I'll figure something out for the front. So, let me go over here. So three gallon, five port tank. Let me just cut it. And it's no joke. Anyway, let me get this off. Sorry guys for a video being so long again. But I've been waiting and waiting for this stupid thing because I bought it from a company on eBay that's in Arizona and because of all the weather we've been having snow and everything you know in California nobody knows how to drive nobody knows what snow is and uh, yeah kind of a pain in the butt waiting for it okay and here's the tank nothing fancy it's kind of a weird it, it's black but it kind of looks like a greenish color so you got three I'm sure one's an inlet oh she's so drain probably in and three outs and probably a sensor so I think that's it <laughs> A little baby tank, nothing crazy. I getting cancer. Anyway, guys, sorry for the long video. That's gonna be it for all of this stuff. You guys, let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I'm gonna get started on it this weekend or what I'm gonna do, but I do know I'm gonna put that pulley on the compressor because, well, it's charged now, but. The belts bounce like crazy because this pulley, I welded two pulleys together and I used filler rod so it threw off, it threw off the uh, balance obviously plus because it's just uh, sheet metal, stamped sheet metal, but anyway, whatever. Alright guys, I'm going to throw this on and check it out. So you guys let me know what you guys think about the new four link suspension and airbag once I get it all done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, subscribe, give me a like, let me know what you guys think. Do what you guys do. Later.